hi everyone it's Nancy and I'm back with another process video again I apologize for my voice um, so this layout um, is just about an evening out that me and my boyfriend had a few weeks ago it was probably last month now and um, as you all know by now um, I do like um, scrapping food pictures and taking pictures of food and so these are just some shots I took and Instagrammed so I'm just going to stick them down and this is on a piece um, of Echo Park paper I'd used this um, previously um, on a layout and the other side is kind of arrowed it was from a Valentine's collection but I decide that I'm going to use it and the photos are kind of quite um, kind of orangey in tone because they were taken um, in a restaurant and kind of quite low lighting I've pulled out this piece of Highline by Basic Grey and um, I'm going to use that as my background. I also have um, that other die cut. Um, I'd used the previous um, die cut on another layout. Well, I'd used it on the previous layout even. Um, and I'm also pulling out um, a big pink doily. And they are from the doily pack that I found while um, tidying the caravan and um, it's really nice to have a large sized um, coloured doily so I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to fill that bottom box um, as you'll all know from if you've watched a lot of my videos that um, this is a style I use quite a lot where if I've got an odd number of photos I'll still map them up as if there is another photo in that box um, I put out this paper and this is from um, a old collection I think it's an old basic grey collection and um, it's called solstice sol something I'm sure it's something like that and this is kind of just like a um, collaged up piece of paper and it says favourites on there as well just as a text piece so I thought that's going to work quite well um, just with the photos and you know just, you know, if I'm going to have any word on there, it's going to work. So I'm going to play about with the placement of this cluster because um, I know I want to build up that bottom box, but um, I also know I need to allow sort of enough space to kind of, um, you know, just even it out a bit. Um, but I also want to do some journaling as well. Um, I'm using an offcut of that piece of paper at the top as well, and. Um, I then pulled out the, um, these are the Maggie Holmes um, Project Life cards and they are from the, uh, whatever her new one's called, Styles, is it Styleboard? Something like that? Anyway, it's from there. I don't have many of the papers but I bought the um, mini Project Life kit and so I'm going to use that large card for a bit of my journaling. I also pull out this, um, other card which has um, a masonry, mason, masonry, that's what you build buildings with, a mason jar on, um, because actually the drink I had that night was um, a blended sort of mixed drink of whiskey and rum and random other stuff, um, but it came in a little um, like jam jar with a handle, so I kind of thought that went quite well, so I also pulled out that piece of Dear Lizzie paper from the Lucky Charm collection, because I thought you know it's a perfect opportunity to actually use those up because um you know I don't do kind of many stuff with that kind of thing on so I'm just adding some black mist onto this paper because I know um, roughly where my pictures are going to go so of course I'm going to want to add some texture and I'm also using the fuchsia pink again these are kind of my go-to mists at the moment and also the coral from Kylie Swap as well and as I said these are kind of like my go-to mists um, for this um, Scraptastic kit and I'm not specifically working through that kit because I am using the Wild and Free as well from Glitz but I'm, I'm kind of making a concerted effort to use it up where possible um, it does take quite a while to dry um, the more metallic bits so 
I could have really cut that out. I do apologise. So I'm now going to start kind of on my placement. And I'm just using um, my wet glue to stick down the doilies and that. And then I'm just going to use my ATG. But again, I um, going to kind of fiddle around a little bit. So I do apologise. I'm really congested tonight. Um, I take this die cut piece, which is a die cut heart, and um, on the reverse is it, well, it's the reverse of that fancy pants um, chevron paper, and I know I want to put it in two places on the layout. Um, it doesn't stay where it is at the moment. I kind of realised I have a weird gap at the top there, and so I just take another off cut of that piece of um, basic grey paper, I believe. Yeah, it's basic grey and just stick it beside it because actually it's a collage piece of paper so it doesn't actually look that odd um, there is a little bit of a join if you look close enough but I am going to do a little bit of um, sticking and embellishing over there so it doesn't look too bad I take out this pink striped washi tape and um, I got this at a local supermarket um, kind of in their stationery range um, just before I start my um, spending freeze um, there's also another one that's kind of a little bit floral but it's got kind of um, sort of, sort of, looks like a bit like paint splatters on so I'm just going to add that over that as well and decide that's where I'm going to put those heart die cuts I'm just trimming up that um, mason jar um, I'm going to add that down to that bottom cluster where the word favourite is and I'm now going through my die cut box seeing what else um, that's possibly going to work on this layout. I knew that I wanted to bring the black down because otherwise those two hearts didn't kind of register very well so I'm just going to um, bring that down. I pull out a vellum, vellum ampersand and that comes from the print shop um, vellum pack and I've got very few bits of that left now. I think I've got a mushroom and a deer which to be honest I can't really see me using. <laughs> Um, um, I've then cut out some jars, some mason jars from the um, Dear Lizzie paper and just looking at where I can cluster those up. And I like how they look so I will fussy cut them out. I think I am kind of like every so often stopping to dance during this layout. If you see any random hand motions, I think that's what I was doing. I was having a little bit of a boogie. Um, this was um, scrapped on the same day that I um, used the life acetate, so maybe I was still on a high <laughs> from that. So I'm just um, fussy cutting those little jars out. And they're going to um, just cover the top of that photo, which I'm not too worried about, but they're also going to cover that join in the paper. As I said, I'm just using my wet glue to stick things down. And um, those hearts are just going off the edge, but I will trim those. I then remember that I had some um, mason jar wood veneers, so... I'm going to use them to layer up and again I don't mind that I'm sticking it over the top of the photo there there's nothing interesting there's like a pot of cold floor which to be fair it's nothing that exciting to look at is it really um, so I'm just added one of those the top and bottom and um, <coughs> excuse me um, I've now just got a box here and I'm just looking um, through my letter stickers and things I've got with me and just seeing which ones are those that are going to kind of work with the colours on this layout um, I also um, pull out that snap thing but that doesn't um, sticker set doesn't end up on here I decide that I want to um, bring that black up to the top as well which to be fair doesn't really add much but it doesn't really subtract anything either so I did contemplate putting a couple of stickers on here but I don't 
Um, I'm now going to pull out the Highline die cut pack and just go through that and see if any of that's going to go on this page. And I quite like um, how that looks, so I pull out one that says sweet, um, which will go well because I've got a picture of my one of my favourite desserts, which is churros. And then this one that says right now, because I'm just going to journal about how um, it was just kind of an ordinary weekend night, um, but my boyfriend decided to take me out for dinner, so that was quite nice. So I'm just sticking these bits down. I cut off the other bit of that noted label and rather than put it to waste, I just stuck it on the top bit of that layout. And I thought that noted would look quite well, quite good at the bottom there because I am going to journal above that. Just moving some bits around and that arrow came off, that's um, a transparency um, arrow and I thought it just went quite well laid above that favourite because that's quite a um, collage piece anyway. So um, putting that on there, you know, just kind of adds to the layer. I'm then taking some little arrowhead bits, which are from the Wild and Free sticker sheet, and um, having them point um, <laughs> towards um, the lovely whiskey based drink that I was drinking. Um, I have three of these cork hearts left um, from the DIY shop. They came in my quirky kit. Um, the other one had like ripped in half. Um, I wasn't that impressed with them, to be honest. They're very thin um, cork. But again, it adds another texture because I've got kind of like um, vellum transparencies, wood, cork, you know, and I kind of quite like that. It's kind of quite a busy layout anyway. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm going to look at adding um, my title on, and um, my title is um, um, A Mighty um, Chiquito's Feast, um, with the subtitle But but No Hat. Um, basically Chiquito's is like a Mexican restaurant, um, even though kind of the food I didn't have from Mexican that night, but um, if you ordered a certain dish you got like a um, sombrero kind of hat to wear, you know, which is, you know, a bit of casual race, racist stereotyping there, I suppose. Um, but we were kind of laughing because certain people were sitting at their table <laughs> with big old hats on. And um, yeah, it was a little bit odd. Um, but we kind of laughed that we weren't quite sure on the menu what you ordered to get a hat or if you just asked for a hat. Um, <laughs> because we hadn't actually been to this um, place before. So, um, that is just kind of it. I just, you know, I just thought it'd be funny because I'm going to talk about that in the journaling as well. And I'm just using those um, October afternoon um, daily flash stickers. There is a plane going over. I don't know if you can hear it. If you can hear it, that's a plane. If not, I just sound like a loon telling you what's out my window. And yet again, it's like a Sunday afternoon and there's a plane flying over at 20 to 8. It's ridiculous. I don't know what is, I don't know what's going on with the planes around here. Anyway, I digress. I'm just going to spray some ink on and then I'm going to cut to some pictures. So thank you very much um, for watching and putting up my um, awful voice and I'll be back with some more process videos soon. Bye!